हेलो एवरी वन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ह्यूमन आई इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड फंक्शन सो फॉर दिस ह्यूमन आई सी टी दिस ह्यूमन आई इज अ बायोलॉजिकल डिवाइस this is biological device instrument used to see object which is in field of view of observer this human eye it functions similar to फोटोग्राफिक कैमरा मोर आर लेस द फंक्शन ऑफ वर्क ऑफ फोटोग्राफिक कैमरा एंड ह्यूमन आई इज सेम वी कैन इवन कंपेयर द पार्ट ऑफ दिस इज फोटोग्राफिक कैमरा विथ अ डिफरेंस इन फोटोग्राफिक कैमरा रियल इनवर्टेड inverted ted and uh, permanent images formed in photographic camera but in human eye the image formed is a real inverted but temporary and it remains only 1 by 16th second when object is moved away from the field of view when it is away from the field of view it remains only up to 1 by 16th second human eye is just like consider a ball human eye can be considered as a ball little bulgy at front so see the structure of human eye carefully consider this human eye as a ball with bulgy inside uh, uh, this front side here from the back side consider the outer most covering from a back this outer most covering from the back is called sclerotic this is outer most covering and its function is given here this is sclerotic is it is outer most covering our layer it is made up of white tissues opaque and white in color it function to protect inner parts of the human eye now see the second portion this second portion from front outer most covering from front of eye ball this outer most function is called cornea so this is cornea the function of cornea see carefully the back portion is sclerotic and front is the 
cornea and this cornea has a function it is from uh, front portion transparent and curve in shape it also protect the vital part similar to the sclerotic sclerotic is from back and it is from the front the second covering from back is known as choroid this choroid is second covering inner layer from back and it has a following characteristic it is black in color second inner layer choroid it is black in color one thing its work is also prevent internal reflection because black color absorbs sun rays so it prevents from internal reflection inside that's why a clear cut image is formed on the retina it is very sensitive to light when lights fall on it absorb by this is second important organ after the cornea is see carefully it is this both is called cornea this cornea it is behind the no uh, this is not cornea cornea is the front the second portion is iris iris here in this between iris here there is a this iris is of this type it is behind the cornea and it is colored in there is a hole at the center of it there is hole at the center of it and this hole is called pupil pupil see this is a pupil hole right so when light uh, enter through this hole inside the eye this is a pupil here in this pupil see the properties of iris and pupil iris it is behind the cornea colored diaphragm hole at the center called pupil and pupils appear black color at black background and this pupil allows only sufficient light to enter inside if out size intensity is much more then iris move over the pupil and make its size is small that only small light should enter if out side is less intensity iris moved away and size of pupil increases actually it control the size of pupil so this iris property is more important to discuss here it contain muscles so i said it control the size of the pupil it dilates and contract the pupil that is control the size 
so here given control diameter of pupil that is it allow to pass only sufficient light through it pupil this pupil allow this is for pupil allow only sufficient light to pass through it behind the pupil from the front there is eye lens eye lens it is covered with also muscles and connected with this this soft tissues over this it is called eye lens this eye lens is behind the iris hole you may say behind the iris and this eye lens this eye lens is convex in nature convex lens see the property of this eye lens it is behind the iris convex in nature it is made up of transparent material light passes through it its position is fixed by ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments this ciliary muscles and ligaments actually made fix the position of iris and it size also controls this ciliary muscles and ligaments through which eye lens is fixed it is also connected with here up to quadrant it made actually fix and completely from here to here completely black to avoid internal reflection inside the quadrants inside the eyeball so this is the position the space between pupil and the front portion cornea it is iris pupil iris eye lens ciliary muscles and ligaments connected with the choroids in between the space there is filled aqueous humor this is fluid the it is the fluid work is when iris move over the hole to control and muscles move over the eye lens it works at a lubricant and remove the friction so we may say that aqueous humor filled between cornea and lens transparent liquid and works as lubricants it protect the vital part through lubricancy no friction avoid friction between the parts third important part of human eye from the back this is third layer is called retina it works as a screen where the image is formed where i told a temporary image is formed when object move away from the field of view it remains only up to 1 by 16th part of second 1 second see the properties of retina is inner surface of eye 
it is semi transparent not a completely transparent surface it is much sensitive to play actually here image is formed this real inverted image is formed and this is connected to the optical nerves from here so see in this on retina real and inverted image of a small size is formed and uh, since it is connected with the optic nerves between this eye lens and the retina a fluid is filled the fluid which is filled between cornea and iris is called aqueous humor and the fluid which is filled in this space is called vitreous humor in this it is transparent jelly like substance this vitreous humor jelly like transparent and it is placed between lens and retina it also work as a lubricant here in between if any movement in the part no friction should take place between the surface of two parts and to save the part of human eye here on the retina at the center of retina there is one portion much important this portion is called yellow point and knee here is a optic nerves when the point will come it will be explained near to this portion there is one another point that is called blind point blind point this yellow point lies at the center of retina this portion is extremely sensitive to the light image is formed and retina at this position so yellow point see the detail lies as at center extremely sensitive to light actually real and inverted is formed at this area and blind point see it is here near to the optic nerves this retina is connected with here from optic nerve system optic nerve send and this optic nerve is connected with the in the last with brain actually when image forms is sent signal to so the portion which is near to this is known as blind point and it is <coughs> insensitive to the human eye the main property of blind point is this this is point from where optic nerve situated from here signal send to nerves is come to and connected with the yellow point this portion is insensitive to the eye and insensitive to the light no image is formed on blind point of the retina these are the important part of human eye which works actually when image is formed the retina on yellow points position 
this is connected from here inside to the optical nerves send signal to the optic nerves brain uh, send through the optic nerves uh, optic nerves to the brain brain read the signal and with help of the tip clear signal receive the brain the image is formed on in the brain and image erect and sufficient size feel of the object because real and inverted image is formed on the retina but when we look it is erect see how this human eye works how we focusing and power of accommodation is two important thing to understand the function of the human eye so first of all see the ray diagram how image formed on the retina it is in two way first when object is at infinity means when want to see far object means at infinity compare to the power of human lens so see this is a portion eyeball here see this is eye uh, the eye lens pupil and iris ever bit if the far object at infinity let us see from the infinity we used to take parallel ray of light through the pupil falls on the convex lens when light falls on the human lens human lens has the property of power of accommodation listen what is the power of accommodation it adjusted in such a way that its power focal length that final image is formed at retina power is so real and inverted is obtained on the retina and it is clearly viewed through the human eye retina sends signal to the brain and read by the brain so this is a diagram figure for for object for near object see the eyeball object is near then ciliary muscles and this ligaments through which eye lens is fixed press the eye lens so it becomes thick relative to it when it is away no pressure on the eye lens the eye lens is thin focal length is here in such a way but when it is small presses in such a way that is size control that uh, when object is at near see carefully let it is a near object point object the ray of light here fall on the eye lens passing through the pupil which size is controlled by the iris so it presses in such a way that it focal length is adjusted in such a way that final image is formed at retina so this is a ray diagram for near object the power of controlling power of lens to controlling of human eye in such a way that final image is formed at retina is called power of accommodation it is the main property photographic camera has not this type of property only human eye 
if human eye loses their power of accommodation then image is not formed at retina sometime it formed before the retina or sometime after the retina that is called defect in human eye this defect we will see in the other lecture so i hope that you have enjoyed well for human eye see here its part and how this human eye help to see the object so this is for the topic only thank you and have a nice day